I would love to be in a place, and I may never get there, where I can help people. It's something that I never really cared to advertise. It got advertised. I still do it on one-on-one -on -one level almost daily. If children have the ability to ignore all odds and percentages, then maybe we can all learn from them. When you think about it, what other choice is there but to hope? We have two options, medically and emotionally, give up, or fight like hell. Hard work, sacrifice, and focus will never show up in tests. If you worried about falling off the bike, you'd never get on. Winning is about heart, not just legs. It's got to be in the right place. I look forward to a time when lawyers aren't in the top three calls every day, and all you care about is how your kids are doing in school or what the weather's like and the great day you had with your family. If you ever get a second chance in life for something, you've got to go all the way. It's frustrating in the sense that I still think I could be competing at some sport at a fairly high level, which nobody cares about. Nobody wants to hear me say that. If you go to Wikipedia and you look at the Tour de France, there's this huge block in World War I with no winners, and there's another block in World War II. And then it seems like there's another world war. I wanted to win the Tour de France. And when I won it once, I wanted to do it again, and again, and again, it just kept going. So there wasn't another competitive environment. If I was racing in 2015, no, I wouldn't do it again because I don't think you have to. If you take me back to 1995, when doping was completely pervasive, I would probably do it again. I'm not trying to justify myself, or say I'm not sorry, or not contrite. There was certainly a dishonesty there that I think is totally regrettable and inexcusable. The ring leading, the bullying, not totally true. I don't think anybody else from my generation had federal agents standing at their door with a badge and a gun, saying, you are going to answer my questions. I don't need a field of a thousand people. Anybody can tell you that whoever needs help, I'm happy to help. I spent a long time trying to build up an organization, the Lance Armstrong Foundation that changed its name to Live Strong after his confession, to help a lot of people. Cycling is so hard, the suffering is so intense, that it's absolutely cleansing. The pain is so deep and strong that a curtain descends over your brain, once, Someone asked me what pleasure I took in writing for so long. Pleasure. I said. I don't understand the question. I didn't do it for the pleasure, I did it for the pain. I want to die at a hundred years old with an American flag on my back and the star of Texas on my helmet, after screaming down an alpine descent on a bicycle at 75 miles per hour. I tried to control the narrative. At this point of my life, I'm not out to protect anybody. 
I'm out to protect seven people, and they all have the last name Armstrong. Wants to hear me say that, nobody cares what I think about this. I get it. <laughs>